We're going to breaking news, though, uh, continuing to follow the latest on the Precinct 4 deputy constable who was killed in a friendly fire incident overnight. Yeah, that constable was investigating a home with a Fort Bend County deputy when something happened, and the deputy reportedly shot the constable, um, the deputy constable, rather. This morning, we are tracking this news with team coverage. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli is in Siena Plantation tracking how this happened while our Kathy Hernandez is at the hospital. Kathy, this is on a lot of people's minds right now. What do we know about that deputy constable? Absolutely a very somber moment for everyone in law enforcement. They tell us that Deputy Constable Caleb Rule was a father, a husband, and longtime servant of people in Fort Bend County. And just minutes ago, I spoke with a captain over at Missouri City Police Department. They say that he worked in multiple roles there for 14 years, and he also sadly has five children. Sheriff Nell says that the Paramedics flew Deputy Constable Rule here via lifeline with a gunshot wound to the chest area where he passed away. Constable Trevor Nels was here at the hospital. He left just minutes ago, and he was also here with the Deputy Constable's wife. According to Missouri City Police Department, they say that Rule had five children. Other Deputy Constables also rushed here to the hospital. Deputy Constable Rule served with Precinct 4 for nine months. He previously worked with the Missouri City Police Department for 14 years. Well, a lot of our personnel don't know about it yet. Um, that's a call we'll make this morning. Um, I've only been with Constable's office two years, or three years actually. Um, as far as I know, we haven't had an officer involved uh, fatality like this, um, even prior. And just minutes ago, again, Trevor Nails was uh, leaving the hospital here. He's set to make a statement at 11 o'clock this morning. Of course, we're just keeping our thoughts and prayers with Precinct 4. Reporting live in the Texas Medical Center, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Okay.